So I've been a supervisor at a warehouse for about 10 years. Now, I had a five-year plan, so I'm already past that five years. My goal was to start my own business after five years, pay some bills, get caught up, the five years are done, and then I'm moving forward. Well, God had other plans. So I was at work, very frustrated with the people I was working with, um, just the job itself. Now, I have been in the industry for about 15 years, so I felt a little burnt out. So I went to God in prayer. To God, I'm, I'm ready to go. Uh, you got something for me? And God asked me one simple question. He said, son, who do you work for? And I said, well, I, I work for the company I work for. I've been here for five years. This is who I work for. He asked me again, son, who do you work for? Now, I'm getting a little frustrated because, God, I, I don't know what you're asking me. I don't understand the question, um, even though the question was very clear. Um, I don't understand the question. What, what, I'm working for these people. He asked me again, son, who do you work for? And then it hit me. Father, I work for you. He said, he told me, he said, I have you there for purpose. He's like, so just keep doing your job. You know, I wasn't very happy with the answer, but I kept going to work. So one day, a young lady came to me and she told me, she said, Joe, I don't know what to do. My father has stage four cancer and it doesn't look like he's going to make it. It's like, he, he is my world. He means everything to me. I don't know what I'm going to do. I said, wow, that's, that's, that's really tough. I'm sorry to hear that. And the Holy Spirit just, he just asked me, he told me, he said, pray for her. I said, okay. So... At that point in time, you know, I prayed. I prayed for her. I prayed for her father. I prayed for healing. I prayed for, you know, God's will be done. So about two months later, her father passed away. She came to work. She was in the parking lot and she was a complete mess. And the Holy Spirit told me again, he said, son, just pray for her. And I prayed for her and there seemed to be, a, you know, I prayed for peace. There seemed to be a calming peace come over her. During that time. So she was off work for a couple of weeks and she came back to me and she said, Joe, I want to thank you for praying for me. It really meant a lot. Some time had passed and her brother, who also worked there, came up to me. And his name is Joe. I said, I said, Hey Joe, how are things going? With you know, with your father passing, how are things going? He said, Things are going, they're going all right. We're getting we're getting through it. And he said to me, Joe, I just want to thank you for praying for my sister, it really, really meant a lot to her and to me. I said, okay, well, I, you know, that's, that's, that's great. He said, because of that, I've started going to church again. Really? He said, yeah, I'm developing my relationship with Jesus. And I want to talk to you more about how this works. And I said, Wow. I truly understood why I was there. I was there to be a light when someone was in the dark. I thank God for giving me that revelation that I'm working for him and not for, uh, not for a man, but he positioned me for men. And I'm glad I got that revelation. So I pray that we all get this revelation that our Heavenly Father has us in position for purpose. We are to be the light where there is darkness. And I truly believe this place was a dark place. It's not. It's really not. But I really believe that it was a place of darkness. So I thank you again for this opportunity to share the story. May God bless you.